Hello fellow nerds. Today's video is going to be super exciting. I have the Bolt Industry Reference Circuits Volume 1 and Volume 2. As you can see, they're all laid out on the table here. These are by Ian Dunn and they make learning about electronics super fun and hands-on. They're all USB-C powered and you actually get schematic symbols that match up with them and you get uh, learning descriptions through all of this. You actually can play with every single little component here to learn uh, quicker and better. And even though I'm not a student anymore, um, I've been playing with it for the last like few weeks and just learning so much. So let's get into how all of this works. I'm going to go through each one, uh, one by one to, so that we can get like a little bit of an overview. I won't go into tons, tons of detail, but I will put, the link to Bolt Industries down below where you could purchase it. Right now, they are available and in stock. Uh, volume 1 is $41.50, same as Volume 2, and I think you can get them a little cheaper if you purchase for classrooms. And I did check with Ian just to make sure that this is okay, that to, to use the, the this and to show it off, and he is a big proponent of open source. So he's absolutely okay with me sharing this, um, but there is a disclaimer. This is obviously his IP, um, so do not make these, but please feel free to learn about them and to um, play with them, and it's a great learning tool. So to get started, I'm gonna un unplug volume two. We'll start with volume one, and then we'll hop back into volume two. This is volume one right here, the cover page. There's the schematic symbols on the back. The very first one is series parallel circuits. And let me get that up to the closer to the screen so you can see it. So if you adjust these, you can actually see the LED change. So let's turn them all on. That is as bright as the LED gets. And then let's change the resistors in parallel. If you have them all off, you can see it's off. And let's flip them all up. Boom, boom, boom. And you can see the LED brighten. Really cool to be able to, ah, oh, oh, eek. Okay, really cool to be able to do this, see this in real time. It really helps you, you and me understand how these resistors work. There's also additional information in the back about Kirchhoff's first and second law and uh, the voltage dividers. So I actually need to read, read through this. I could spend hours playing with this. Okay, let's look at the next one. This one is series parallel combination circuits. This one is really cool. You do need a multimeter for this. Um, luckily, I have mine right here. And with the multimeter set for, um, you can use it to check shorts like this. Um, but if you put these two together, you can see the change right here apart together and then what's really cool you can put this let me make sure it's visible you can put these guys like this on here and then as you go through and change the resistors you can see it change in real time so fun. Such a nice way to be able to like visualize these concepts with hands on approaches. Um, I, I when I first opened it, I had no idea what this did. And now I still don't have that much of an idea. But it is it's actually my favorite piece now because, uh, you know, I'm able to like really understand and start learning what's going on here with resistors. OK, let's look at the next one. This is RC time constant circuits. And what you do with this one, you can charge and discharge these capacitors. Um, so I, I should actually probably start from the top one. And the nice thing is like, you can actually see the size of them. You get details about it. So charge it up, watch this LED. Okay, here's, here's another one. Boom, boom, boom. See it? It's, it took a little longer to discharge. Let's look at this guy holding it up. Two capacitors. Okay, let's look at how bright it is. Lasted longer. Look at that. 
nice, super cool way to, to learn about capacitors and how they charge and discharge. Additional information on the back here. Looks like it reaches its max threshold. Okay, and then the last one for volume one, this is a free wheel and diode. I won't go into too much detail about this, um, but let's just press the buttons and see what happens. Okay, so this one, we actually have to turn the lights way down low. Okay, so let's look at that. So if you can see, you see that little jump right there? Let's watch this guy. Boom. Super cool concept. Um, makes it nice and easy to understand. When the button is released, the magnetic field surrounding the indic inductor collapses. When the field collapses, the energy stored in the inductor is released. So awesome way to learn about this. Here's the last page, table of contents, Bolt Industry logo. As you can tell, I'm fanning out over all of this stuff. Um, that is volume one. We'll hop into volume two. But like I said, none of this is sponsored. I'm just really into um, the small electronics and learning more about it. Um, so I think if you are into this or you know somebody who is in school for this or learning about a hobby, this is a really cool project product that came from Bolt industry. So um, yeah, I think somebody in your life who is into this stuff would really, really enjoy it. All right, let's hop on to volume two. Okay, so let's get started with volume two. I have them all plugged in. This is the LED uh, a version, and it explains to you how different LEDs are colored and how they're made and the principles of what goes into an LED. And this this one I actually have plugged into my phone just to highlight the USB-C PD capability and it just plug it right in and it just works. So you can see all of the different colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and white, green, blue, bright green. Ooh, and a bright green is really bright. Um, infrared as well which you can't see with the naked eye. This is one of my favorites. Uh, it's just so amazing that they're able to recreate these colors with such low energy. Okay, let's go. This is MOSFET circuits. Um, and these little amplifiers, so you can adjust these guys. Let me get that up a little closer to the screen. There we go. And as you can see, when you move it up and down, you can see the change in the LED. Okay, let these A stable multi vibrator circuits. And this one's really cool because it actually includes a speaker here as well. So let me put that closer to the microphone. So as you can tell, by adjusting these capacitors, you're actually able to change the output. And let me put that as close to the mic so you can hear it. And then there's even a little LED right here too that you can see flickering. Okay, so let's go, let's turn that off. Let's go into the, the last one for volume two. This is a timer oscillator circuit. And if you look by, by adjusting these, you can actually see the LEDs oscillate differently. Look at how fast it's going. Very cool. And all of 
Um, they all have uh, information on the back. Here's the table of contents. Really cool bolt, bolt industry logo. Awesome. I'll just do a quick run through of the back of volume two. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Um, I wish there was something like this around when I was learning physics too. I think I would have honestly gone into electrical engineering. If you are interested in Bolt Industries, there will be a link down below. If you're interested in 3D printing or other tech related stuff, consider joining my Discord, subscribing to the channel. I um, put out new videos at least once a week. And in the Discord, we talk about 3D printing and other fun tech stuff. Um, I plan on doing a lot more videos, including an IQEX Explorer build, which is a four headed 3D printer that should be really exciting. Um, and I have heard from Ian that there's going to be a volume zero. So I will do that. If there's anything on here that you're more interested in or you'd like a little more info in, I'd be happy to do a more in-depth video as well. So leave down in the comments, you know, what you're excited about, if I got anything on here wrong, um, or if you want to learn anything more about this with me. Okay, thanks for checking out the channel. I will catch you nerds on the other side. Bye.